upon a time, there was a boy, and his name was Harry Potter, and he was awesome. Now you see, I wish I could say more to you children, but beforehand I want to warn all, all four of you in the world who haven't read or seen any of the Harry Potter books or movies, spoiler alert ahead! Okay, now that we got that out of the way, I now present Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire Review! Well, before I tell you how I thought of the book, let me give you a little summary of the books before this one, because it's in the middle of the series. Okay, so there's this kid named Harry, and he was born into a wizard family, and his parents were James and Lily Potter. One day this evil wizard dude named Voldemort, or he must not be named, you know who, the Dark Lord, etc. We will call him Voldy. Anyways, Voldy was evil, and killed Harry's parents and tried to kill him and such, but then he didn't die, and got a lightning bolt shaped scar on his forehead. Then he went to live with his Aunt Petunia and Uncle Vernon and Cousin Dudley, who are muggles, who treated him like dirt. What are muggles? Non-magic folk. Anyways, when he was 11, he is accepted to Hogwarts, and his guardians, being the wizard racists that they are, won't let him see his acceptance letter, and tell him that magic isn't real. Eventually, this guy named Grubius Hackard shows up and takes him to Hogwarts on his birthday, revealing to him that... Yo, Harry, you're a wizard. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Anyways, he goes to Hogwarts and with his new Biffles, Ron and Hermione, and they get tons of adventures trying to keep Noseless Voldy from killing more people. <sighs> okay, whew! Okay, now this is what happens in my book, The Goblet of Fire. At Hogwarts, they have decided to hold a Triwizard Tournament, which they haven't done for several years because people keep dying. Dun, 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 dun! Also, only people over 17 can join. But then somehow Harry gets in. Don't ask me why I didn't write it! <sighs> Along with Cedric Diggory, a Hufflepuff, pfft, Hufflepuff, Victor Kroom, a guy from a different school called Durmstrang, who also happens to be a pro Quidditch, look it up, player, and Ron's idol. And Fleur de la Cour, a pretty girl from Beaubatons, which is a French wizarding school. Watch them as they fight, and as Hagrid tries to make a move on the Beaubatons headmistress, <laughs> This book made me cry, says Moaning Myrtle. I literally cannot put it down. Someone who weakled the book to their hands. Tell it is so much better, says somebody with no common sense. Soup, says Dumbledore. My father will hear about this, says Jacob Malfoy. I like the fights with me best, says Matt. If only it came with a free nose, says Lord Voldemort. But all silliness aside, I really did enjoy this book. And I hope you guys will read it sometime if you haven't already. What's up, guys? Oh my gosh, guys, it's actually Harry Potter! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> Did you tell them to read the book? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get food this week! Um. Go to go, um, um. Hagrid uh, needs me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hagrid needs me. A uh, boy. Well, that was quite interesting. But you heard him. Buy the book. Feed the Potter. Okay, peeps. I hope you enjoyed this fabulous review of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. But you never actually rated it. Yes, I did. No, you just recommended it. Will Charles balloon and laugh as they cry. Bye. Good luck on your braids. Okay, I have to end this now because it's running long. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next month. Bye.
me fixing my hair so I look like a dude. transforming myself from the um from looking like a dude to Harry freaking Potter. Let's go. Uh, there's no such thing as magic. Okay, so there's my Harry Potter face. Now let's do my Harry Potter hair again. Well, I'm Harry Potter. I have to perfect my Harry Potter accent, too. Yay, I get to eat for another day. I have to look, I have to look up what Daniel Radcliffe sounds like. Because I don't know what I'm supposed to sound like at all. I kind of look like a stupid Harry Potter. Um, I should probably put the... Nah, okay.